Hi everyone, it's Jean from Jean's Gems. Just wanted to share with you a little project today. I, last night, I got out some of my stamps and thought I would work with them a little bit. And I have this frame stamp that I got recently. It has all different frames and I went to head and stamp those on some watercolor paper and they did pretty good my i used my stays on ink um the jet black for that i think i'm going to have to invest some time in some new inks because mine are not um as thick and juicy as they used to be but at any rate here are the different um shapes that I cut out. So there's different, you can consider these frames or windows or whatever you would um, want to refer to them as, but they came out pretty good. And if you, since I was using black, if there were any lines that didn't ink all the way through, I just took my pen and a ruler and even them up a little bit. But I had these dried flowers and I thought I'd make some little windows or window boxes with them because I think that for our journals, it's nice to have something cute to go in the journal. And these, I can put in my cluster book later if I want to, or I can um, add these to journal pages with paper clips or whatever I want to do. But I just wanted to show you how I made these. Now, um, the, the dried flowers, I took most of them, they're kind of in a vacuum packed sealed container and I took a lot of them out and I will find a little box that I can just lay them in because it's hard to pick them out whenever you're doing um, the different designs. So I've been using these tweezers, which if you don't have any really good pointy tweezers, these are really nice to work with for this kind of project. Um, also, these are put down currently with just a little dab of glue, but I will have to go over these with gel medium when I'm finished. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like if you're not familiar with gel medium, because if you don't go over it lightly with the gel medium, what will happen is your petals from some of the flowers may come off. So right now I'm just um, designing the windows. Now the, the ink that I used for the frames themselves is permanent ink. So if you do have to use the gel medium for it, um, it won't bleed any of the ink or anything um, that you have to worry about there. So I'm going to, first what I do is I find a piece of greenery that I like. Now some of the um, greenery can overlap, but you want to, make sure that you can at least see that it is a window that we're dealing with here and not just, you know, or a frame. And so you don't want to cover up the whole frame when you are making your floral design. And we had talked about this before in previous videos that when you're making something um, like a floral arrangement or of sorts, you want to find a focal point and then you want to use 
um, odd flowers normally. So I thought about putting that one on, but honestly, with the green being pretty big, I'm going to see if I can find something smaller because the green is pretty, that pink one is pretty large. So let me see if I can find another color that is not quite as big. I wanted to use some yellow, but I don't know this one here that's blowing around. I, it's big too, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And then what I do is I just use, for now, um, a little drop of the beacon glue. That way the, they will stay in place. But at the same time, I'm gonna come back later then and I will put the gel medium over the top. And when you do that, you'll have to be real gentle with it because it will, um, it will cause your, your flowers to break. So And I'm just going to show you the gel medium. I'm not going to do those right. I'm not going to cover them right now because I don't have um, brushes and water ready because you want your gel medium to be a little bit thinner so that um, it doesn't, doesn't make like a, a thickness around the edges of your flower. So here I just added um, this yellow one. This purple kind of looks like baby's breath. And then, let me see, I know I had a couple more packs of these. I'm going to try to see if I have, um, these are baby's breath, I think. And then I wanted to see if, okay, this one has a few smaller um, flowers in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one too. And just let them fall out here. I probably should have saved some of those little squares. They're kind of like the, if you've ever gotten shoes and you see the little pack of silica gel, they put those in so that these don't dry out really bad. So this is what I wanted to do. I want to put a little blue one right there. Okay, so let me move these over. Oh, and isn't this pretty? I think I'm going to put this one on here like this. Okay, so let me finish gluing the blue one. You almost need to have the tweezers because we're just, it's just too rough sometimes with our hands. So, okay. Let me wipe off my, the tip of my glue. I don't know why this glue does this, but it it's, seems to be under pressure a little bit, so it'll bubble up. Okay, so I'm gonna just dab a little bit right here. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but, um, this yellow flower is already starting to tear. So, you know, that's why it's very important to handle them gently, but at the same time, go back over them with the gel medium. So this is just a fun little project. These would look really cute as, um, you could put these as embellishments on, belly bands. You could use them um, as a focal point on your
tag that you're making, you could um, put them on a journal spread, belly bands, tuck them in some envelopes, just really um, some cute options for um, these little um, dried flower frames. save that because I may use that. I'm trying to see if I have another color that I can add on here. These um, here are not one of my favorites, but they still look really pretty. And then, you know, you guys, you can do different things on these as well. If you want to... Um, add some glitter on the top you can if you want to add some buttons because some of these like these bigger ones here and here and here they don't really show um, a center very well so if you wanted to add some glitter there or a little button or flat back you could do that and that would look really cute so let me add one other flower to this and I think I'm going to add just a little purple one to make it kind of more colorful here see what I mean about this glue it's so weird Okay, so there we go. There's another one. I'm noticing this one up here. Let me move these over. This one needs something else. And I think what I'm going to add to it is... Um, I thought I had a little tiny purple flower here. That I'm going to add just right here. Just to fill it up a little bit more. Yeah, and these little tiny flowers don't have um, really any centers in them as well. So if you wanted to put something in the center there, you could. So it's all about, you know, n not anything that's um, extremely complicated. We're just putting um, some greenery down first. And then we're going to add, let me see if I can find a piece of this. This is um, like a fern and I think it's so pretty. We'll add that one. And let me see what this yellow one looks like. So I like it where they, uh, where it hangs out a little bit more. Now that's totally up to you, but I think it, um, creates a nice effect. Whoa, that one blew away. I have to have a fan in my room where I would die of heat stroke. I'm gonna take that one off for a second. So let me get these two glued down. And like I said, if you have tweezers, it's gonna make it so much easier to work with these, these uh, fragile flowers because they really, um, They really want to move on you. So there we go. And I need to add something else, but I want something smaller than that. I'm going to put a tiny bit glue right here. 
And some people were talking about using, you know, keeping their hot glue on and using their hot glue gun. I just don't, well, first of all, I don't really have the room to be able to do that. It's hard enough for me to connect what I do have. And then also um, having the room to just leave that on all the time. I My room's so small, I can't really do that. But that is definitely an option if you guys would rather use a hot glue gun. I would recommend though, being very careful with that, with these delicate flowers, because you're not gonna be able to move them around much. You know, it's not gonna, the, the hot glue is not gonna be very forgiving. And if you try to lift up any of the flowers and reposition them, you're not gonna be able to do that with, um, with hot glue. Okay, so these are, I think, lavender. And I'm just gonna take a piece of that. I think I need to put, let me look at this pack that has some green in it. I don't want too much because we have a pretty small window. Uh. So I'm just gonna break this little piece off if I can. And we'll put it on when I graduated from high school I had a friend who gave me a gift and it was a press it was just tiny a press for um, dried flowers I'm not sure if my mom might have it somewhere still or not, but I remember that and thinking what, um, how the person probably thought that I would really enjoy something like that. And I've thought about it with uh, my mom's flowers, but she has a lot of like she has a lot of uh echinacea or cone flowers she has um she had irises and daffodils and cosmos and a lot of things that are really fun um you know flowers but not a, not all of them are um conducive to drying. These look like, uh, you know, a daisy or a, um, or cosmos or something like that. And pretty much with the heat, everything has just turned to a crisp, so I don't know about really drawing any flowers at this late of a date, but it's something that I'm gonna keep in mind for next spring, hopefully, if we're still here next spring. So this is a really cute design here, and I like this yellow and I'm going to, one thing that's hard to determine with these is which is the front and which is the back. So you kind of have to look for the, the vein or, or whatever it is in the 
leaf to kind of see. So this would be the front. So I'm gonna lay this one right here and it's just coming out from the top a little bit and that looks pretty. And then we will add Let's see what I have over here. I think I need to do some more pink. Pink ones. This one's really a big one. And actually, I'm going to do it on this side because I like the way the leaves look. The green comes out on that side. I think that's probably the bottom, but that's okay. I want the bottom showing. So I'm going to add that right here. And then I am going to put... I have some of these too, which are are cute, but I only have them in purple, I think. I had another pack where I had them in different colors, but I'm just gonna add this to to the center of it. And that way it'll kind of look like a layered look. It looks cute like that. Because it's missing some of its little pieces there. And I will put tiny bit of glue down and add these little this little piece right here of the lavender there we go I'm all about using up everything I have so if you uh, watch any of my stuff my videos you'll see that when I'm using paper or something, I try to use um, up everything. So this one, I had that, here's a, pe a little piece of greenery. It's kind of a squish, but it's okay. I mean, they are pressed, right? And We'll go with a purple one. And we'll go with this. White little sprig here. We'll put under there. Now these right in the middle you can see how it moves around it it's because the center is bumpy let me see if I can find a little tiny pink one to go on there here's one it's not exactly pink it's more almost a red uh, but it'll liven that up a little bit, so. I'm going to clean off my glue again. So I've seen, um, uh, some videos of some people and how they mass make and you know this is kind of one of those concepts where you stamp a whole bunch of the frames and then you make them all at one time now I won't use up nearly 
all of these um, dried flowers. So I'll put them in a little box or something so that they won't get ruined. But I have um, a few more frames here. This one's a large one. So I will probably use this little green sprig right here, which these are really cute. I'm not sure what they are. They kind of look like ficus and I am not a fan of ficus, but I sure like how this looks. Or they could be just another type of fern of some sort. You know, fern, ferns do come in different, um, different uh, leaf patterns. So that wouldn't be unusual for, and so that's probably what it is. But I like, I like these because they may be, some of them may be, it looks like they're artificially colored, but they're not so that you wouldn't, um, you know, be able to have the concept of them being a real flower. So, I'm going to move this one down a little bit. I wanted to cover that stem. Because I think these blue could possibly be artificially colored. I'm not sure. These um, are also really nice for um, resin product resin um, projects. I haven't dabbled in resin yet. I don't know. I have a friend that um, that I've known since I was a kid, and she does a lot of resin. She uh, actually she does um, these really interesting spoons. She will cut the handle off the spoon and then. Um, bend it over so that it w can go on a chain and then she will um, she will use that as a um, necklace and I think they're they are really pretty when she makes those so I'll have to they're almost like um, fairy necklaces or something because she puts lots of sparkles and different things and then she fills up the spoon and I would really love to try that so I'm going to have to check with her and see what supplies I need. There was something I used to use before that was similar to resin I'll have to think of what it is. But anyway, it was really nice because you didn't need to do any mixing or anything. And you could just use um, whatever colors. I'm sorry, you could put it with, over whatever you wanted to. But um, what is that called? I, I'm sure I still have some, but if I do, it's probably in storage still, because I don't have any with me. But it's a, um, really fun thing to play with, and it, and it may do just as well as the The resin, I'm not sure because, like I said, I haven't um, used it for a long time. And I know my friend Susie, she, she uses the two-part resin. 
but she can do a lot of her things outside, whereas I can't. I can't really do that, so. Although, I saw an article yesterday about making um, your fabric look more vintage. And I think I'm gonna try that with some fabric that I have. It's, it's actually is vintage fabric, but the colors in it, I would like a little bit more muted. So I think I'm gonna try this method. And if I do, I'm gonna have to hang some stuff outside, I think. Unless my husband does that part, which he might. Okay, so I just have these three other little ones and I'm going to make those quickly so you can see all the ones that we have. Now, um, the, the great thing about this is now we have quite a large selection that we can choose from if we're going to add them to a journal or if we are going to add them as a part of a um, tag or like I said earlier, even a spread on, it, even a journal spread. These would look really cute tucked into the bottom uh, onto a bottom corner or something so that you could, you know, just have a little focal piece on there and not have to worry about, um, not have to worry about You know what to put in your put in the the bottom corner i have seen some journal pages where they're so simple and then they have just this tiny little focal point um somewhere on the page whether it be a stamp or you know something like this or a little tiny cluster and what i like about it is that it's very um just you know one little thing on the page and then the whole rest is of of it is journaling and i think that looks really nice okay let's see what color are we going to use today what color i'm going to use these purple baby's breath you know I don't know that I ever knew this until just recently that baby's breath is actually poison I mean not that I went around eating it or anything but um, I don't think I knew that until recently that baby's breath was is poison But when I would go to the to the place to pick out some flowers or something, if I was going to a funeral or or something of that nature, and I I would always want to make my own little flower arrangement, I would have them put baby's breath and um, coral bells and that kind of thing in my, cause I, I like more of a, I mean, I love roses and I love all those beautiful um, flowers, but I really like the simplicity of wildflowers. They're just beautiful. Now, another thing I was just thinking about these, if you have some pretty lace, you could actually, um, you know, lay the lace on the, 
you know, coming out the back or the bottom of this, and that would look cute too. These blue um, pieces are really pretty. Though they remind me of little um, hydrangeas. I guess I didn't get that much yellow when I got these. And I'll have to get myself some yellow if I'm going to do this again. Because I like the way the yellow looks. And this one I have over here is way too big for this. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And then we have one more. Let me put some glue on it. Now, gel medium that I was telling you about that you need to really cover these with, you can get gel medium um, in various places. You can buy it online. Um, I think Ranger has their own product line of it. You can get it from Golden um, brand. You can also get it from Liquitex, which is the one that Actually, I think I might have one of each. And um, it's just a smooth gel-like consistency. Um, and you can get matte or you can get glossy or I think semi-glossy. So you can get different um, coverages. I usually just use the matte. Or that might be all that I have right now. I'm not sure. And then you just kind of, you know, go over it with a damp brush. So here we have all of these. And you can see my terrible mess. But we'll just lay them out all nice so we can see what they all look like. And then, uh, then once these are... I'll go through them and make sure they're the way that I want them to be. So far, I think I'm pleased with them just as they are. I will probably um, put some lace with some of them on the back before I put them, make them into paper clips or make them into clusters. Okay, this guy needs to go over here. So here you can see all the different ones we made and I will bring them up close to the camera so you guys can see. I just hope they don't blow away. So there you all can see the different um, designs we made with the little windows. Now, if you don't have the window stamps, that's fine. You can draw windows yourself um, if you're good at doodling or anything. So you can do that. And then give me a second and I'll see if I can find my gel medium. Okay, so this is the one I've had forever and a day. It's from Liquitex. And like I said, it's just this creamy, you can see from the inside, this is a horrible looking bottle, sorry. Um, it's just this creamy um, gel that you, you need to water down a tiny bit and go over all of your pressed flowers so that you don't lose any pieces um, 
off of your design. So that is my little project for today. And I think these are just really cute to add to your, to um, any of your art projects. And there's some, some art, some things that were more partial to than others. Like maybe you like making tags or you like making um, belly bands or you like making envelopes and any of these little um, pieces would go on any of those options in your junk journal. So thanks for spending some time with me today. Um, I appreciate all my new subscribers. If I haven't um, mentioned you yet, I do want to thank you. And if you come across my channel and you find my videos interesting, please give me a like and a subscribe. You can also push the notification bell if you like, and that just lets you know when I upload new videos to my channel. I um, do that at least a couple times a week, and um, I'm also looking for um, some individuals that would like to do some swaps or some collaborations. Um, and if you're interested in that, you can just email me at jeansgems at gmail.com. It's also listed in my about page. Um, if you have any interest in um, looking at some other channels, I do have a suggested list at the bottom of the video that you can look at. And um, the girls that I list there upload frequently and they have some really interesting um, projects and they, they all seem to have a different take on, on certain junk journal designs and um, pieces and things that you can add. So keep that in mind. Um, I have been meaning to put some things in my Ko-Fi shop. Ko-Fi, why do I always say that? My coffee shop, but um, have not gotten around to do that due to health reasons. So hopefully I can finally get that done this weekend. And um, if you're looking for a, a great way to sell some of your things and um, you haven't investigated coffee, it's a really nice site because it doesn't charge you for listing your items. And um, there are a lot of artists on there that not only offer digital, but they offer physical products as well. So, um, unfortunately I haven't gotten into the digital aspect of the business yet, but hopefully we, I can do that soon. And again, um, I thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful weekend and bye for now.